Welcome to Toolbox. In this video, we will review the Select tool, which you will be using to prepare, arrange, and compose your embroidery in readying it for the machine. It is located on the left of the screen. It is the hand with the pointing finger. When you click on the tool, four main options will open up on the right-hand side of your screen. The first one is Select All, and as its name implies, you can click on the button and everything will be selected on your screen. Now there is to deselect all, all you have to do is click away from the embroidery where there's nothing on your screen and that will deselect everything. There is a keyboard shortcut available if you prefer using the keyboard for that method. You can use Ctrl A on Windows or Command A on a Mac. And if you are interested in the keyboard shortcuts, they are available in the help file, which is available via the question mark button at the bottom left of your screen. When you click on that, it will open up a PDF file. And in that file, one of the pages is dedicated to the keyboard shortcuts. Now, bear in mind, you do not need to use keyboard shortcuts, so if you prefer, everything can be done with the mouse. But if you like the efficiency of the keyboard, you have that option as well. Next, we have a second method of selection, which is select designs. Now, the word designs here is used in plural. It refers to basically components of your embroidery. And let me tell you a little bit about this scene that you're looking at right now. This was created with a pair of palm trees that came in as a design. And if I click on one of the palm trees, you see that both of them are selected. This is a free design that's called Africa-019 that is included with even the trial version of Toolbox. So it comes with the software. What I did is I duplicated it, mirror imaged it, made it a bit larger and so on, and move it to the right. So I got a second pair, as you can see. And if I click on the second pair, I will get now a compound selection of both of them. Then I added three lines of text, one curve, one straight, and one wavy. That was the entire composition. But by using the select designs, there you see there's a plus sign on the button, I can add to my selection. So if you wanted to capture four flowers out of five, and there's no easy way to get around that, you can just click in turn on each one as you brought, after you brought them in, and you'll be able to pinpoint which ones you want to modify. If you need to deselect everything, it's simple enough. Go to Select All and Deselect. That again will deselect everything. Now, there are times where, for instance, lettering. If I click on a word, that will select the end, or in a sentence, for instance, it will select the whole line of text. But what if I wanted to modify only one letter? Maybe you want an initial letter in a name to be larger than the rest. So instead of selecting the word, I would select letters. And then I could pick a single letter right here. And I could rotate it, enlarge it in height, in width, or in both dimensions proportionately. And then if I made it bigger, I could just move it to reposition it. So without having to break words and edit the whole line of text, I could modify a single letter. That is very easy and very powerful. Now, the last method of selection is to select objects. And as you can see, you can add objects. So you could pick a single wing on a butterfly to change its color. You could pick an individual petal on a flower and so on. So you don't have to get the whole palm tree. If you click on this tool, I can click, let's say, on the trunk. And now I get only the trunk of that palm tree. And I could change its color, enlarge its size, do whatever I want to it. So you have many, ver many versions of the select tool. Each has its purpose. And each one will let you get in there and change only what you need to, which is very, very convenient. Now, one last thing. You may have noticed when I did a select all that these little red dotted lines showed up around the different portions of my design. These indicate the elements as they are introduced. It keeps them separate so that when you use the select designs tool, these indicate what would be selected if you click anywhere in the region. You do not need to know where these are, but if you want to in inspect your embroidery to see how the chunks came together. All you have to do is click on the Select All tool. It will select everything and then you will see all these regions defined that outline your components in that composition.